Hi everyone! In this video I want to show you my process to bring my characters from Blender to Unreal. This was a video suggested by Javier Santos in YouTube and I thought it could be very helpful. So let's get started. What I usually do is um, I clean up my Blender scene because as you can see, I still have plenty of objects and meshes that I don't really need, like the, the, high, the high poly version. So yeah, I try to simplify and clean up all the scene. I already did that and I have this, this file now. So here you can see I only have the, the, the hunter, the enemy in one mesh. I, I join all the meshes together and now we can we can start the 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 rig process. So for the rigging, I use this Blender add-on called uh, UFI two. Um, I tried different ones, and this one is the one that it works the best for me. Uh, it has a ton of documentation and tutorials on YouTube, so this is very helpful. So if you want to check it out, uh, I'll leave the the link in the comments on the description. So what we want to do now is to bring the, the armature. Uh, thanks to this add-on, we have the Unreal Mannequin armature here. I can bring it. Uh, let me show you uh, changing the viewport display. So here we have the armature. And we are not really used this armature. This armature, it's only here to build the uh, the rig. And to build a rig, we select the armature um, and then go to the skeleton tab or the metric tab, uh, tab. And uh, on the rigify buttons, we generate the rig. If you don't have these options here, it's because you don't have the add on enabled. And this is very easy to do. Just go to your preferences. Uh, look for the rigify and then here you can you can enable it's already by default with uh, blender so you don't have to download anything so I generate the rig and then um, this this armature we don't need anymore here um, a couple of things I forgot when it's uh, a tip uh, when I create my characters, I always use this armature as reference. So I create, I build my characters already with this pose. And it's, that's very helpful because then all the bones are already in the right location, which is very nice and gives you a better um, transfer weight. The other thing it's uh, in order for the UFI to add on to work properly, you need to change the units. And to do that, come here and see the unit scale needs to be 0, 0, 0, so 0 0.001. This is because when uh, the units in Unreal and Blender work different, and uh, I guess this is the unit scale that and makes it compatible. So when this character goes to Unreal, it's gonna be in the right size. And another thing you need to know, it's this character here, if we go to scale, it says one, but in fact, it's a hundred times bigger. That's why a hundred times bigger at this scale, when exports to Unreal, the real scale is one. So once I, I said that, uh, I can hide this metric, we don't really need it anymore. Then um, another thing we need to do, it's uh, we need to transfer the weights from the mannequin to our character. So I have already imported my mannequin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hide for a second the rig. Okay, so here we have the mannequin from Unreal and this mannequin, when you import it, it has already all the weights. So we want to transfer these weights to our character. 
the way I do that, it's uh, there are a couple of ways to do it, but the one I'm going to show you is the one I think, or based on my experience, work the best. So you select your reference, you select the character, then go to uh, weight paint, and then here on weights, you say you click on transfer weights. And one of the important things we need to change on the settings is the active layer needs to be by name. If you leave it at active layers, it's going to only transfer one group. If you put by name, then here you can see on the way on the vertex group, we have all the groups already with the right um, weights. Let me show you something different about the fingers. So now we can hide the weight reference. We can show again our rig. Then go to the rig on the UFI script panel. Here, those fields usually get filled automatically, but if not, just click refresh list. And if something goes uh, on red, you can always uh, select the right the right rig or the right um, maze that needs to go there. Then once we do that, uh, we scroll down here, generate the rig operators, uh, we build a skeleton, give it a second, and once it's built, we can parent our mesh to the rig, so select first the character, then select the rig, control P. And here, very important, when we set the parent, we just do armature deform. We don't want to do any of those because we already have transferred uh, the weights from the mannequin. So now we can check if everything worked properly. Go to post mode, select this is one, for example, and as you can see, our character is already rigged and has the, the weights that we transfer. Then the next step, uh, we click on the rig again. And what we, what we are going to do is we are going to convert this rig to the to the mannequin. So we are going to, what this action does, it rolls the bones in the same direction than the mannequin. So this is very helpful because when Unreal imports this character and creates all the assets, like the physical assets and the collision, all of, the, all of that, it's going to be uh, a standard like the mannequin. Now we select everything and we can export it. I export as FBX. I'm going to call it enemy. Until uh, rigged. Under the settings, we only want to uh, do selected objects. We want the armature and the mesh, S the scale, and all of that is fine. We don't want any uh, animation. And in the armature, we want only the form leaves. We don't want that. And another thing um, I'm forgetting. Um, oh, here in the geometry, uh, do face. This is um, a setting for. Uh, otherwise, Unreal, Unreal is going to complain about that. It's not. It's not a major problem. But if you do that, then you're going to avoid the, the the issue. Well, not the not the issue. The warning. Okay, so I do export, and now uh, I'm going to launch Unreal and import it. And here, very important, yeah, um, as you can see, uh, it's already selecting the enemy skeleton. This enemy skeleton, it's a copy of the uh, third-person mannequin in Unreal, so it's good that it's already um, knowing that I want that one. Uh, I'm going to do import.
And now <clears throat> I'm gonna we can check here the enemy that I had prototype. I'm gonna change the mesh. Select the um, new enemy. And as you can see, we already have our enemy there. There we have it. Now the next step would be um, obviously adding the materials and the textures and double checking that uh, all the weights uh, are good. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, if you have any questions and just feel free to leave a comment and I'll be more, more than happy to help you with everything I can. Have a great day and see you soon. Bye bye.